Hello! Welcome to today's video. Today I thought it would be fun to show you um, my desk setup. Um, in one of my latest videos I showed you the porcelain palette that I have for my watercolors and I keep that one on my desk. But I work mixed media. I like to work with all sorts of supplies with supplies whatever whatever um so i do not only need my watercolors on my desk but i also need my pastels and my pencils and other stuff that's here um i am always trying to improve my working space um a few months ago i read the book which i recommend um Atomic Habits, and it's all about um, creating habits for yourself that you can keep and that improve your way of living. And one of the things that I've learned from the book was um, designing your environment. So design your space in a way that um, sort of activates the uh, habits or the activities that you desire to become part of your daily life. Well, an art practice, uh, coloring every day, painting every day is something that is very meaningful to me and that is something that I want to uh, design in my daily life. And now I know that my space can sort of activate certain um, activities. So it's not only um, <laughs> applicable to uh, being an artist, but you can also apply it to uh, working out from home or cooking. So. Here you can see what I did. Um, these are my favorite pastels and pencils and a lot of other good stuff. I'll I'll dive right into it. And then after this, I'll do some swatching of some of the supplies that are in here. Um, but I can, of course, keep my colored pencils in a drawer. But I can also leave them open, which makes them uh, more accessible and does more... Uh, I, I will use them more. So I've rambled enough about um, the reason why it's all in the open. <laughs> um, the base is a tray from the thrift store. I really love thrifting, so it isn't a surprise that I use this tray. So if I want to move somewhere or if sometimes I work from home and this is too distracting for me, I um, get it off my desk and put it somewhere else. Um, and then here I have some sketching utensils, some basics. Then I have my uh, soft pastels and I just keep them in this little uh, box that I got from my mother. And I have some rice in here because it um, keeps the pencils, soft pastels um, less dirty. So I have a base of just some uncooked rice. Uh, and I have a combination of different soft pastels. I like to uh, organize my colors by uh, warm colors, but more or less uh, everything from yellow, brown, purple, and pink colors. I like to keep them here and reds. And then everything blue and green and gray is in here. They fit perfectly. <laughs> then I have two other boxes. Um, and these are the uh, boxes that I got from my local art store. And I have the colors on the back um, because I also use these boxes for travel. And here are uh, my favorite colors. And these are boxes that I can pick up at my local art store and uh, they keep the Holland, old Holland oil pastel. <laughs> they keep the old Holland paints in here. So that's that. Um, and here I have my uh, Neo pastels. I have half of them. The other half I have somewhere in a drawer because uh, if I have the big sizes of the Neo pastels in here, I sort of, uh, it's too cluttered and I like to see in one <laughs> in in one quick view um which colors i have and there are mostly carandash 
neo pastels in here but recently i also have been enjoying the uh ink dense pastels um so everything is water soluble because i like to work with water and then i keep it next to the other one and it's the same idea all of my grays blacks blues greens are in here and then all of my brown purples yellows reds are in here um, and so have uh, ink tents in here some ink dense colors uh, and new pastels then i have uh, let me get this out the way I have some clutter here, um, just some little clips to put on my sketchbook to stop it from buckling too much. Then I have Winsor and Newton and inks. I have five colors here, uh, violet, blue, emerald and scarlet. And I like to use these inks as a background color and then use other stuff on top of it. I also have this new one. I still have it in the box because the design is just so cute. <laughs> uh, but it's the uh, ultramarine blue. I just love the design of these. So cute. And I just keep it in the little box. The inks. Then I have two of these little tins. You can see the ring light here. Um, and these are just tins for pills. I got these at the thrift store. And I have a indigo watercolor in here. And then a black watercolor in this one. If it will open. Um, and I use these for value studies. When I don't really want to think about colors. I just have these two. And I think... If I finish up this one, it's the indigo, I'm going to put some liquid charcoal in here um, to use for sketching. I think I will like that better than the indigo, even though I love indigo. So that's everything. Then I have my colored pencils. I have them in uh, three boxes, funny enough because I have quite a lot of pencils. Here I have uh, all of my neutrals and grays, so browns and gray colors. So like not a lot of color colors. <laughs> then I have my um, warm colors like um, pinks and oranges and yellows. And then I have my favorite colors, and these are greens and blue colors, so they are also together, because I get a lot of greens and blues. Um, and I keep them in this super cute dog. <laughs> um, oh, before I forget, I also have some basics. I just put them on the side. Um, this is a Pitt Graphite Faber-Castell Pencil 8B, and it is a matte colored pencil. I like that for sketching. Then I have a Blackwing pencil, very beautiful design and also great for sketching. Another sketching utensil is this Carandage um, Blue sketching pencil so you can it's a color erase uh, and i put a thing for your thumb on here i like i like how this feels oh <laughs> and sketching no photos so the idea is if you scan this you don't see it and i like it a lot to use as a layer um, and i tend to use my pencil like this then i have a this <laughs> i just recently used this 
for blobbing color and I put it in my stack. Um, then I have a white jelly roll, also a basic that I cannot really go without. Love this. Um, and I have a micro pen 005 and then a micro pen 03, so a small one and a bigger one. And I got this uh, Pilot Pencil. Pilot. Um, what is this? Pen. <laughs> and this is great for sketching and doing doodles. So that is everything from the top. And now let me do some swatching. An honorable mention. I also keep these uh, on my desk and I love them a lot. So I'm also going to include these in the swatching. And these are the uh, magic pencils by Koi Inor. I love the green colors. So this is the black wing. It's great for writing those stuff. It's just a very smooth pencil. I'm just going to randomly show you some of my favorites. Um, and this is one of the only Polychromos Faber-Castell pencils that I have. And it's very nice. It's like a super, uh, like, not a natural color at all kind of color. Um, and this is light phthalo green. And then a favorite Castell. Um, I have another favorite Castell color, but it's not in here. Um, ooh, this is also one of my favorites, and it goes really well with that color. And this is Pell Mills. Pell Mints. I don't even have to look. I already know. <laughs> um, by Derwins, and this is the color soft. So I'll do color soft. Then going to go for um, light cobalt blue. I mean, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> isn't that wonderful? Light cobalt blue and this is a luminance and I also really enjoyed this color and it is cobalt Janine cobalt blue and it really goes well with that one it's like super beautiful how do you write this Janine Cobalt Blue and this is another luminance. Um then this is my favorite turquoise color, turquoise green uh by Derwin Lightfest and I am <laughs> I'm a sucker for Turquoise colors. Turquoise. Please don't come at me if I make mistakes during the light pass. Um, with swatching because I have dyslexia and it's I make quite a lot of mistakes, and that's okay. Okay, look, look, <laughs> I have um three different. Um, turquoise colors, and this one is my favorite the turquoise green. Beautiful. Um, also going to do some intense, and I'd like to smoosh these. You can also use these with water. Um, I also, I'll show you <laughs> how I like to use these. Oh, I don't know 
what color this is because I broke it. So it's just like a beautiful dark green color. Um, let me show you how I really enjoy using this. I need to get my water. Also, great tip, make sure that you always have some water close by. I have two of these very close um, by. So I, if I want, I can always start making art. Um, choosing a random pencil. And something with a bit of texture. I think this one is great. It's like this shape, just a cheap brush. Really enjoy using them like this. So like some sort of watercolor and then I can use them. So beautiful. Like a dry brush almost is also very nice. Um, if I would use a more expensive brush that would hold uh, more water. Oh, this is already, look how beautiful this is. It's like so inky, um, very beautiful. So you can see a bit of a color difference when it's wet and when it's dry. So um, you can also use this method with neo colors. But in my opinion, it doesn't work as well as with the ink tents because it's just um, a different type of material. This is one of my favorite new colors. It's again like a uh, turquoisey kind of color. Don't know, don't have the name of this, so that's not very um, handy for you, I guess. But I don't have the name of it. You can also put it in the water and then use it like this. So you can all create all sorts of cool effects with this. Oh, let me put it here because it's a little bit wet. Um, another fun color is this bright green color. I like it for texture. I also have a pencil. Um, this pencil is called Spring Green. It's like a super bright green color. I can put down the name of that one. Spring green. Or and of course, with colored pencils, you can also uh, press uh, slightly less aggressive and then the color is lighter this is oh my god this color is so beautiful it's um a unison color soft pastel made in england and the color is green 29 and it's again that very bright um green color you can use it like that and you can also um, use it with some water uh, my favorite um, soft pastels in combination with water are the Rembrandt soft pastels. I think they work very uh, nicely with the water. And they really work together with the water. Um, I have a few different colors. I got the um, a few sets of the half pastels I have the darks and the lights I think you can also do it like this like I did with um, the intense and it can also create very interesting effects sometimes using a cheaper brush um, works well for creating certain effects I feel especially if you want to get that dry brush texture um, cheaper brushes tend to uh, collect less water um, so that is a great way to um, create that effect just by using less expensive um, brushes beautiful color 
Oh, something fun I want to show you. You can use these materials together. Really get to know your materials. So just start, um, just start uh, exploring. This one, I can tell you which one this is. This is the olive yellow. Put it here. It's a luminance. And I want to show you something. So let me just put down some colors. So this color is very cute. This is lime green uh, by um, Derwins Color Salt. Lime green Derwins Color Soft. So it's this one. And then I'm going to grab an intense, and I know that I have indigo and paints gray. And if I see, I think I now grabbed um, indigo. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Yes, this is indigo. You can use it sort of over it and it can create very interesting uh, textures so you can really play with um what color you want to create this is another soft pastel and it's bg bg 30 and um the um, unison soft pastels are super soft so if you're looking for a soft pastel, I would recommend those. They also work well with water. In my opinion, the Rembrandt works the best with water. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to show you another color. Mm, maybe if let me down, let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a tour of. What my favorite colored pencils are. So at this time, I just show you a bit so you can see how um, how I use these together, how they layer. So the great thing about soft pastels is they sort of go over everything. Um, you can use it with water. You can use it with your hands, and you can just leave it to dry. I also have a big thing like this kind of stick. But then it's green and I have this color, um, but I also have this very beautiful earth green color, which I like a lot. So, and again, this you can use on its own, but you can also use it with water. I also have some Yaxo soft pastels, not really a fan of them because they don't really work well uh, with the water and they are square and i've noticed that i like um round things better you can see i also have a teal color of this because i just love teal and i can show you how this works together with water it doesn't really work that great so those are the blues and let's make another one of these super messy pages with the pinks. Oh, before I go, let me show you one of the magic colors and it's 19. It's a green one. Look, that's amazing. I love it for creating texture in my work for like leaves and trees. Let me show you the other one. This one is also very nice. Just like creating texture. So messy. I like it messy. They don't layer super well. Um, the Koi Inor are good pencils, but they're not as great as, let's say, the Dormant Light Fest or the Luminance. But if you like uh, texture in your work, uh, like me, I really enjoy texture in my work. 
um, as you can probably tell by all of the different arm materials that I have and the way that I set up this page um, I do recommend them because they are just something different and they can spice things up very quickly letting this dry I like texture as you can see this one is so beautiful I like the bright brush effect I would also just encourage you to make a page like this because it is messy and it sort of gets you in that experimental stage which I think is very important for um, creating art one of my latest obsessions which is orange I really like orange at the moment and that's why I want to start off with this orange and it's an intense and it's like that perfect orangey color it's so bright but also earthy and also been enjoying red more recently especially uh, a more of a coral corally red tone so this is on the pinker side um, but maybe this one is yeah this one is more uh, coral cor corally <laughs> I want to show you how beautiful this is and it's like a coral red so of course can just use this for great textures more of the unison soft pastels and this is red number three and it's like a orangey peachy red and this color fits nicely and it's a red five and it is um like a salmon kind of color Ooh, peachy 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 and salmon like a salmony color some colored pencils um ooh, one of these is fun i have storm of that name uh, these are, uh, or this pencil is a Derwent Graphite Tint, and the name is Storm, and it sort of makes a very beautiful, it's almost a grey, but I think it has a hint of violet, so I decided to not put it in my greys, um, and it's Storm, by Derwent, um, graphite tint and I also have this color aubergine very purple I like certain tones of purple um, I like mo moody purples and um, pastel purples so aubergine Derwent graphite tint. I hope that that is in in, in some way uh, understandable for you. Then I have this Mars violet, another Derwent color, but then a Derwent uh, drawing pencil, so a DD, <laughs> and this is Mars violet. Quite nice, quite nice. Mm. Oh, I like this one. Apricot. If I know the name of the color before I grab it, it means that I really like that color, but I also really like the name of the color. And this is like a very um, deep, autumn -y orange. And one of my favorite watercolors is Aussie Red Gold by Daniel Smith. And this really reminds me of that kind of orange. It's like a very deep color. 
but not necessarily a bright color. And also when you use this, um, less heavy. And the Derwent um, Light Fast Pencils are just a joy to work with. This is my favorite yellow, and it's Banana, another amazing name. I like my... Um, I like my um, uh, fruit names, Banana, by Derwent Light Fest. Oh, and this was a Derwent Light Fest. And it's just like a super um, nice yellow. It's bright, but it's also a bit muddy. So I like it. We do another soft pastel. I have a soft pastel by Axel and it's neon pink. And I like this to put on darker colors. Let me show you. I know this one, this is a new ink tense that I got. And I think it was some sort of like dusky violet or moody, moody violet. I love that. It's all about creating texture. Let's create texture. See how nice that color is. This is a pastel pinky color A5. I love this one so much. I just love pastel -y colors and also love moody colors and together that sort of makes my um, aesthetic. Uh, one more new pastels. Oh yeah, I have three of these and then <laughs> one for me is blue enough and the other two are pink enough to be here. Again, you have to draw the line somewhere. And I really like this kind of um, pastel lilac purple colors. I hope you don't mind that I don't know the names of everything. It could be sort of a problem and I get that. So I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like a really nice yellow i don't have all the neo colors i just sort of pick them by what i like and in the store i tend to know which colors i have by heart <laughs> and i only one time picked up a double so i think that's quite impressive <laughs> if i can say that about myself um and then a bright yellow it's like a lemony yellow kind of color I want to do something on this one. I have cats, so in here there are cats, um, cat hairs everywhere, but that's okay. I have a very bright um, orange, and this is called Dark Catmean Orange. And it's so beautiful. It's like a perfect bright orange. Dark. Cat. Mean. Orange. And this is a lemons pencil. Another color that is fun. Ooh, this is a very nice red. <laughs> Again, a fruit color, strawberry. And it is a strawberry color, so the name is fitting. Strawberry. By Derwent Lightfast. Now, let me see. I have another Derwent Color Soft Pencil here. And this is Blackberry. <laughs> wow. All of the fruit names I like. Um, Derwent Color Soft. 
uh, should I also show you some of this? This isn't that interesting because it's just like a a black watercolor. I can show you. It's just very um, black watercolor, very inky watercolor. So it could be um, very handy to just have this. And then the indigo, I'm not going to do it because it's, we're, we're with, we're with warm colors. I also have this charcoal stick. You can also use this. Oh, you cannot really use it with water. It's just a nice charcoal, big charcoal stick. Very nice to have. Um, and to create texture. I feel like this page is getting too messy, to be honest with you. I don't think it's like the same nice vibe as the other one. So I'm sorry about that. So yeah, that is some swatching. I could, of course, do a video on every single colored pencil that is in here. If you'd like to see that, Leave it in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe, like if you want. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.